Which group of elements are mostly silver, sometimes gold, and sometimes even liquid? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Transition Metals. The transition metals are the elements found in groups 3 through 12. According to the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, a transition metal is an element with a partially filled D subshell or the capacity to produce cations with an incomplete D subshell. Using this definition, here's a list of 40 transition metals with their number of valence electrons. However, things are not simple and straightforward with the transition metals. Technically, the elements zinc, cadmium, and mercury should not be considered transition metals because they have a full D10 configuration. Copernicium should probably be excluded as well. However, most people include these elements in the transition metal list. Some people exclude elements 71 and 103 from the list, and there are even scientists and educators who include the full lanthanide and actinide series as transition metals. The transition metals are metallic elements that serve as a bridge or transition between the two sides of the table. The elements with the s orbitals and p orbitals are separated by the transition metals. The lanthanide and actinides at the bottom of the table are sometimes known as the inner transition metals. These metals look shiny and metallic. Most transition metals are grayish or white, but gold and copper have other colors not seen in any other elements on the periodic table. The transition metals of a group have a high melting point, but mercury is liquid at room temperature. Although transition metals are reactive, they are not as reactive as the elements belonging in the alkali metal group. Most transition metals have two electrons in their outer shell, but some have one, and palladium has 18. Most are good catalysts, most are attracted to a magnetic field. They are good electrical and thermal conductors. And they form alloys. An alloy is a combination of metals combined with one or more other elements. For example, iron combines with carbon to create steel. If you'd like to know more about transition metals, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.